What's good YouTube? It's your boy Loki OJ back with another video. Now this time I'm gonna be doing another tips and tricks video in my gym. Now this one's pretty straightforward. Now this one's how to keep you guys happy on your team. Like let's say for example, if you're the Philadelphia 76ers, you got a really good team here, right? You got a really good starting lineup, but uh, let's say you want to make your team a little bit better. Let's say you want to get a power forward who can defend other power forwards a little bit better than Tobias Harris will. So you want to move Tobias Harris to the small forward position and Jimmy Butler to the shooting guard position and then have JJ Reddick come off the bench. Now the problem with that is that if you've loaded your uh, your save and JJ Reddick doesn't have the keep it real badge, then that's going to be a problem and he's always going to be complaining to you. He's always going to be complaining about playing time, about starting, about his role. So what, what's the solution? It's simple, really. The solution is to surround him with guys who are bench players, but are still pretty good because then they'll, they'll want minutes and they'll want to start and they have to keep it real badge. Now we already got two of them right now. We got Boban and TJ McConnell. And uh, Amir Johnson sometimes, if, if he wants to get some love, he'll, he'll come in and ask. So. We just need one more guy, one more guy that we know for sure that he'll always be asking for things like that. If we just go to the Memphis Grizzlies and we trade for, let's say, somebody like Jamal Green, who's a starting power forward. He's a starting power forward and he's good. And we'll get him for, let's say, hmm, Zahir Smith and Mike Scott. Because that's, that's in real life, if this happened, I'd be ridiculous. I don't know why the Clippers would take that. But... You know, it's 2K, it's 2K logic. So I'm gonna bring Jamel, Jamel Green, which you can see over here, has that keep it real badge. And Avika Zubak, who also has a keep it real badge, which is even better, right? The more, the more of these guys you can get, the better. Starting caliber or just uh, under starting caliber players who have the keep it real badge are key to keeping the chemistry up and uh, to keeping the rest of the players happy. So. Now that we got both of those guys on our team, we'll set up the roster that so that it's the way we want. So now we're gonna have DJ Reddick coming off the bench, which really that that's where he should have been coming off to begin with. But I guess uh, Philly just didn't uh, didn't, didn't want to do that. They wanted to start him. I don't know why, but that's what that's what they wanted. But it does not matter because now we're gonna have a solid bench gonna be an extremely good team realistically if, if the Sixers had this team last year they would have they would have won the championship no problem because uh, they would have a drop off with bigs when they went off and they would have been able to put one of the best defensive lineups in the game so right now we're gonna put Jamal Green in the starting lineup for JJ Redick he's gonna be playing 21 minutes and I have JJ Reddick playing 26 minutes. Of course, Boban playing 16. TJ McConnell playing 13. And Zubak. We don't have that much left for you, so you're only going to be playing 14 minutes. Now, the team is really good. Now we're just going to sim until the problems start coming in. And you'll see how the Keep It Real Badge keeps your chemistry from going down. And keeps everybody on the team happy and even JJ Redick um, even though he uh, he's, he's not gonna be happy about being a bench player it doesn't really matter at this point because his chemistry is not gonna matter see look now JJ Redick wants to improve his organizational role just talk to JJ Redick now since we know he doesn't have to keep a real badge on him we're just gonna deny and coddle him and then hopefully the uh, press conference comes which they have come and of course you always tell the press conference just uh you're gonna change his role because it doesn't affect anything it affects brett brown but you'd rather have your players be happy than your coach be happy because your coach doesn't really matter to be honest it's pretty easy to get your coach to be happy and, and they don't drop off as much of the points uh in terms of chemistry as a player so team chemistry is extremely important for players now the, re the reason why we have four, four guys who are borderline starters on our team right now is 
so that when they start complaining, we could just uh, deny tough love, and that will just bring JJ Reddick, who's at a 72, back to like the 80s, and the chemistry will be as high as can be. Uh, but of course, uh, they have to complain for that to be the case. Now, sometimes you're, you, you, you may have set your assistant manager to tell you uh, when they're gonna complain, and they, they, they might not tell you. Uh, so you gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta sometimes be checking, especially after losses, because that's usually the time that uh, players start to complain about not having enough player time and things like that. So just keep a close eye, like that. T.J. McConnell is upset with the fact we haven't extended his contract. Uh, T.J. McConnell, since he has the keep a real badge, we can give him some tough love. It doesn't really matter or decline harshly and you'll just be like haha yeah 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 great job you just uh <laughs> doesn't it really doesn't make sense to me because i don't think any player would be like yeah thank you for giving me tough love you know since i'm coming to you about my money but yeah you know, that's, that's how 2k 2k works it's how they've been working for like the past uh three to four years in my gym i'm surprised they haven't done anything to change it but uh that's that's 2k for you now of course JJ Raddick is back complaining about his role you know he, he may keep going down like right now he's probably at like almost pretty close to 50 he's probably at like 65 now, you don't really need to worry about that because again you're hoping that eventually all three of those guys that are on the team right now like Boban uh, Zubak and uh, TJ McConnell and all these guys start complaining about their role. And then once they start complaining about their role, then you just keep it real. And uh, everybody is happy. Also, when you when you give your answers to the media, try try and uh, do like a 70 uh, 60 split with um, the media, so that, so that so that they're on your side, but it's also not a uh, big deal, you know. So that way they can be on your side, but also not a big deal. It's not affecting chemistry as much. As you can see over here, JJ Reddick's obviously playing good, and the chemistry's not affecting him as much. It's affecting him, but not, not as much. And off the bench, he's honestly, in my opinion, he'd be better off the bench than starting on this team, just because he's a defensive liability. But it seems like we might not get to see any examples in this video of these guys complaining, which is funny, because usually, uh, Usually they complain a lot. It's just, uh, I guess when I started recording today, these players decided um, they didn't want to, uh, they, didn't, they, didn't, they didn't want to complain. Now I'm, I'm gonna sim for about one more month, and if and uh, if, if if there's no if nobody's complaining about anything, then. I'll just leave it as that. You guys will have to trust me and try it yourself on your own and uh, see how it goes. Because right now, it seems like it's just JJ Reddick. That's the only one who's complaining. I'm surprised uh, nobody else is complaining. Yeah. You would think, you would think that all these other guys would be complaining about not having a starting role. I guess if I, uh, if I put Jamal, Jamal Michael on the bench after he got healthy, he would be the one to start complaining and then it was mobile. But I guess that's just not the case. And it looks like Jamie Butler's injured, so we're gonna have to start JJ Redick anyhow. And I think uh, I think that's where I'm gonna end this video. So you guys are just gonna have to trust me on this one. You gotta go home and check it out. If, uh, if that's a problem that you're having, if, uh, if chemistry is an issue, just make sure you have about 
three guys who are borderline starters on your team who you think are going to complain about their starting roles. And um, yeah, use those guys as the buffers to bring the team chemistry back, other than having to spend uh, VC on pitches. But uh, yeah, that's the video. If you guys have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. Any suggestions, just uh, put them down. If you like the video, make sure to hit that like button. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'll see you guys in the next video.